Hey YouTube, um, back again with a second experiment. Uh, sorry, I had to get things set up, take care of things for the wife, you know, things like that. Either way, uh, I debunked uh, one experiment they did with the neodymium magnets, uh, neo magnets, and these things are supposed to be able to create free energy if you do all this wild and crazy stuff. And of course, you know, physics and electronics say hey, it's completely impossible, but you know, I'm 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 willing to give it a try. Uh, one of the other uh, experiments that I saw basically uses one of these. It's a computer fan. Uh, this one's mostly good. This bearing uh, messed up a little bit, and I reset the bearing. You know, uh, it's not something I'd put in a, in a computer and, and um, try to sell it down the road. But it, uh, the fan does work. Um, I didn't. I'm not going to bring out a power supply and plug it in just to prove that it, it works. And so whatever. Uh, apparently, these guys that were telling you don't even have to have these things. Um, this is a plastic case fan, a uh, uh, normal 12 volt computer fan, like I said. You're supposed to cut the wires off and do all this. And, uh, having the wires hang there is not going to change the effect of the motor at all. If this uh, it works, it, it'll work, and if it doesn't, it won't. Now, um, what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to be able to line up these neodymium magnets. That's why I have so many of them here. You're supposed to be able to line them up with the magnets that are in the fan and this thing will magically take off and start running all by itself and uh, needless to say this is um I've, I've tested this before and it's very hard to do and i'm going to be trying it with one hand which probably is very dangerous at this point but you know, we'll give it a shot anyway but uh, you're supposed to go to line these magnets up and you see i've, I've got the one there uh, sorry about the shadows but the way it works and you're supposed to be able to line them up and this fan Believe it or not, it's magically supposed to run off Santa Claus energy, or whatever. And um, let's see if I can get him there. And then uh, the guy on the video, of course, says you absolutely have to have all four of them in place, and yada 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 yada, whatever. And uh, there they are. They're all in place. And of course, the fan's not running. We'll give it a little boost here. And they just say it's still not going to run. Um, I've tried uh, going north poles, south poles, if you know anything about magnets, so there's one side that's north, one side that's south. Uh, but I've tried going north poles, south poles, center poles, etc., etc., etc. I've tried using one of the uh, CPU fans of the old CPUs, you know, they're about this big, they're really tiny fans. You know, because I don't want to hear these guys tell me, oh, it's not working because your magnets aren't big enough. Uh, these magnets are dang strong. Uh, I don't believe that's the, the case at all. And of course, um, there you go. Uh, basically, it's not working. Even I've tried this. I've tried moving it around. And I actually had these magnets set up at one point, and it won't work here because I had a board and had them taped down so they would stay in place. Because these things are really kind of kind of tricky to, to mess with. But uh, I tried taping them down and all that fun stuff, and they didn't work. And and uh, I didn't want to do that experiment here and show you this kind of thing just simply because, you know, you're going to say, oh, the board's doing this or the board's doing that, in case it actually worked. And uh, needless to say, it doesn't. So that's kind of irrelevant, I guess. Uh, this is a larger fan uh, for anybody who's, who knows computers and knows that these are one of the big ones. These are one of the radio shacks. It's a 12-volt uh, brushless, 0.32 uh, amps. Uh, which is really pretty hefty, per se, I guess. Um, this fan is actually off one of my uh, uh, car stereo setups, and I pulled them off just because they're noisy. They're loud and noisy. Now, this is metal. Uh, well, the case is uh, aluminum metal. Uh, it's got a plastic inside. You can see these, this fan is a lot bigger. Uh, it's got a lot different spin to it. Even. And uh, so I decided that, you know, hey, maybe that's what it is. I mean, you know, let's go with this other fan. Because the the magnets you can see, I can get them about that close so that I'm snapping together. And uh, hopefully I won't get my fingers here because I really do hate that. And um, I figured, okay, we'll bring the magnetic fields in closer to the center of the magnet or to to the fan and see if that doesn't, you know, make it work. And you know, I'm a skeptic, but I'll give everything a try. And needless to say, the fan <laughs> actually spins worse. Uh, with these magnets there, and I've spun the magnets around and done all sorts of different things with the magnets, and it just uh, it just doesn't work no matter what you do. 
so that's another of the um, supposed neodymium magnet uh, three energy um, smoke and mirror things. Oops, dropped the magnet. Oh, well. um, that's another one of them busted. It's a uh, total smoke and mirrors. Uh, how they're doing it, I'm not trying to tell you. I don't care. Um, what I'm trying to tell you is, uh, here it is. I've tried to reproduce the experiment uh, that these other people have done with these fans. These are good fans. They do work. And it doesn't work, uh, which means they're blowing smoke. And that's the rules of science, is if you have an experiment that you're able to do and someone else is re able to reproduce it, then congratulations. You've got to confirm. Um, if you don't, then you're blowing smoke and no one really cares. So, yeah. But either way. Uh, thanks for watching.